to find the equation of motion, we need to use the rotational form of Newton's second law, which is tau is equal to I alpha, where tau is the torque about a point, I is the moment of inertia of the object about that point, and alpha is the angular acceleration about that point, which can also be written as theta double dot. As well as using your results from the past two parts of the question, you'll probably need to use a small angle approximation that sine theta is approximately theta for small theta. You should then rearrange your equation to get an equation of the form theta double dot is equal to minus omega squared theta.